Today with our recruits, we're doing some water rescue. We're doing both surface water, swift water, and as you can see behind me, some of the techniques uh, in order to relieve a victim that might be trapped in some sort of swift water or flood water situation. Things that can truly happen here in Hudson, either the Merrimack or unfortunately in a, in a flood water situation, which has happened in the state several times in the last 10 years. In addition to the rope deployment they're doing, which is throw bags, we can do some shore techniques. We also have our boat with us today, and we're doing some boat familiarity. We're doing some J-turns, we're doing operations, and it gives the opportunity for the new recruits to understand how our boat at Hudson works, how we can man maneuver it as, as efficiently as possible, and effect a rescue. We've looked at the river down in Merrill Park today, and we talked about a lot of the river hazards we have available. We talked about strainers, we talked about identifying eddies, we talked about how to operate both upstream and downstream and work in a situation where you might have a high velocity flow rate and being able to move, maneuver that boat even in eddy jumping and be able to work your way up the river if potentially we had a victim trapped either in a rock or as you guys all look off of the, one of the main bridges in town, you can see those bridge abutments which could always be a popular area for someone to get trapped on. So this is week two, day two, for our new recruits recruit school. Today we did technical rescue. Technical rescue included everything from learning how to tie a series of knots from our figure eight family to our alpine butterfly, for example, and all the knots that you would use to see them build the systems that they did behind me. From there, we talked about mechanical vantage systems. We went everything from a simple two to one that we could use in a firefighter down situation, traditional Z system, which is a three to one system, all the way up to some compound systems and some complex systems where you could use some piggybacking uh, and some, some standard block and tackle pieces that we also keep preloaded for deployment on our squad truck and make sure we can use those mechanical advantage systems effectively. Furthering from there, we put everything together today by putting one of our rescue dummies over the edge here at Merrill Park and our crews had to create both a lowering system to get down to the patient, assess that patient, and build a hauling system to bring that patient back up to where we are so they could potentially be transported to the hospital, whatever care they might need.